Hi, my name is Michael. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the iMessage app icon template for Sketch that you can get on applypixels.com. Now, this is a template that enables you to generate all of the many icon sizes that you need to bundle with iMessage apps from a single size. It comes bundled with standard iOS colors and gradients as shared styles, and you can preview your icon in the native environment like the App Store and on the App Drawer. And when you're done, you can export everything you need with the click of a button. What you need is this folder here, downloaded from applypixels.com, and a copy of Sketch 3.0 or later. Okay, let's take a closer look at the template. We'll open up the folder, and inside you'll find a Sketch file. We're gonna go ahead and open that up, and it looks something like this. Now this template is pretty similar to my other icon templates for Sketch that you can get on applypixels.com, but let's just do a quick rundown of what it actually consists of. You'll notice that there's three pages included in the file, preview, symbols, and export. We're on the preview page right now, which is not surprisingly where you preview your icon. We've got the main star of the show right here, the icon with the uh, pill-shaped mask applied to it. And we've got some preview action going on here where you can preview your icon in the native environment here in the App Store single page on the App Store top charts, obviously, um, and uh, in the app drawer and in the settings. Now looking at these gives you a really good idea of how well your concept scales and how it fits into the rest of the native environment. Now let's make an icon. All you need to do to edit the icon is to double click it. And that will take you to the symbols page. This is essentially where you design your icon and all the changes that you make here will propagate to all the sizes. Now before we make the icon, let me just run through a couple of cool things out here on the left hand side. We have good old Gliffy, which we can hide, obviously. Um, and then we have an outer mask, which gives you an idea of the uh, pill-shaped rounding that Apple will apply. We also have an inner mask. And then we have an icon grid that you can enable and disable. Last thing is the background. And a cool thing about the background is that it actually uses shared styles to give you access to some of the standard iOS colors and gradients. So if you go out here to the right-hand side, click gradient, you actually have access to some of the most common gradients on the platform, which is really cool if you just wanna kind of find a starting point uh, and work from there, right? Okay, let's make a quick icon. You could essentially do anything in this canvas right here, but we're just gonna go ahead and insert a wonderful little shape. Let's go with the good old star. And uh, just gonna drag that in place. Center it, needs to be white. Let's scale it down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and hide the grid. Now that looks amazing. And if you've been paying attention, you'll notice how the icons out here in the preview symbols are also changing. Uh, but you can also go to your preview page, the, the page we were on before, and you can see how everything has changed. So now you can look at that wonderful star in these various environments. The idea here is obviously that you go back and forth between the preview and the, the symbols page until you are satisfied with your masterpiece. Now, before we wrap things up, let's just take a look at that last page, the export page. If you click that, you'll see a complete breakdown of all the individual sizes that you need to deliver to Apple with your app. And once you're done, all you need to do is go to file and hit export. Sketch will show you all the files that it'll spit out and we'll just go right ahead and hit export. And we're just gonna save that inside the template folder. Now, if we go and find that folder, we'll open it up, you'll find a subfolder called iMessage app icon and inside it, you'll find the previews that we just looked at, the rounded icons. Those are fine for presentational purposes, but do not bundle these with your app. So Apple does not allow transparency. And finally, the actual icons that you need to deliver with your app. That is pretty neat. That was a very quick rundown of how you use the iMessage app icon template for Sketch. You can get this resource and other cool design resources by becoming a subscribing member at applypixels.com. I really hope this template helps you create better icons. Thanks for watching.